All right. Welcome aboard. Here we go. Anytime you ever won a championship in over 50 years, it's an opportunity for somebody. I like to run into fires, you know, not away from them. And that's just my personality. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hey, good luck to you. What's up, man? I like to take challenging jobs. I like to take jobs that are very tough and my culture can fit at. And Minnesota has all of that. When I got hired, I made it very clear. If you do not want this culture, don't hire me. Good afternoon, everyone. Sky Yuma meets Row the Boat. Huh? Been waiting to say that for a long time since I got the job, to be honest with you. When I met Coach for the first time, he talked about Gopher Talk, and basically it's going to be a vocab dictionary, you know, for our program. I was kind of like taken back. I think once people realize that buying in really means that this program's going to change their life for the better, for me it was an easy decision. Roll the boats are never give up mantra. And uh, February 9, 2011, I lost my second son to a heart condition. I shared the same sorrow as a lot of people out there who have lost children. You just got to keep your oar in the water. So row the boat's a never give up attitude. Uh, there's three parts to it. There's the oar, the boat, and the compass. The oar is the energy you bring to your life. It's the symbol of strength. The boat is the sacrifice. What are you willing to give up for something that you never had? You got to be demanded of by your coaches and of yourselves to have the best practice you've had. You gotta and the last part's the compass, and the compass is the direction of your life and uh, set by the people you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with idiots, you're gonna become an idiot. You surround yourself with elite people, you're gonna accomplish extraordinary things. Lead job, lead job. We talk about a necton mentality is elite, right? It's always attacking, never full. You know, a great white shark is the ultimate necton. It can roam the seas. It never looks at a seal and goes, man, you know what? I just had one, I'm full. I don't, want to, I don't want to attack that. It's going after that seal because its instinct is to attack. I want our players to attack their life. This is my culture. People can criticize it. People can say it's not real. People can say, it, say whatever they want because if you're not in our culture and in our four walls every day, it's not going to make sense to you. Nothing I do promises us victories, but it gives us victories and wins in life, and it gives us a better understanding of how we can become a champion. You have to be a champion in your life before you can become a champion on the field. I like to live about 15 to 20 minutes away from campus. I, I enjoy that because you got 15 to 20 minutes of your own personal thoughts, rarely throughout the entire day as a head football coach, do you have time to yourself? All right, let's roll. Today's a Tuesday, so it's a normal practice day, first and second down. We're coming off a of bye week, so this is really our third day already on to Maryland. There's a lot going in today, and yeah, you guys are in for a treat. Starts the day, you know? You gotta be everybody else's light. It's a, it's a pretty symbolic thing to our program. Get the day started. Then when you leave, you blow it out. Here we go, baby. Come on, Carter Coughlin. Look like you're coming in late. The reason why we practice in the mornings is our players get life lessons to set the tone for their day of how they're going to respond to what comes to them. Hey, listen, now we got to change our best as a football team. We got to change the juice level. That juice level's got to go up. Your how, your excitement, your energy, your passion has got to show in this practice. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. I want to see it. Again, I'm going to demand from it. If I don't get it, guys, I will take it ourselves. Everybody got it? Yes, give it, give it, give it. Let's go. Let's go. Fly around and get some juice. Fly around, have that juice. Hey, birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Ah, come on, let's go. Hey, Cole, that's a hell of a job, boy. Hey, hey, you got to be tougher. Hey, come here. Come here, you got to be lower than that. Right, and you got to be more aggressive than that. You got driven back two yards. Yeah, that gap's three times as wide. Let's go. We haven't won the Big Ten since 1967. It's going to take a while, but in terms of what we're building, that's the whole mission and that's the whole goal. What I put for offense is breaking tackles and pushing the pile. 
hidden yardage. On the flip side of that, you know, we've got to swarm and tackle in space, push the pile back. You know, the only reason why we're 3-0 and is because our culture shines. It shines. It's not always perfect and pretty, but it shines. We just need to get you here, you know what I mean? And I think you're going to love everything that you see. And you're going to be shocked. You got me? You're going to be shocked. Now, when you come in December, there's going to be some flaky white stuff on the ground. One day, you're going to have to play for the Green Bay Packers or the Chicago Bears. And guess what? They play in November and December and January. So we're going to prepare you that way. Hey, tell your mom I said hi, all right? And tell her that, that boat rowing coach says hi. I'm doing what I love. That's how I keep the energy. I'm doing what my calling is. And I understand that.